going to be opening up um, spring quarter 2010, March 29th. The, the full square footage of the building is 320,000 square feet. Our old building would have been 220. This is the Union Marketplace, and it'll be affectionately called the U. Um, and so we let students name um, all the spaces. So I'll kind of go through that. Right behind you is across the field, and that'll be our salad location. Right behind you is fired up, and that'll be our grill location. To the far side over here is Dohio, and that is our bakery. And then over here is Buckeye Passports, and that is a location that um, it'll change um, quarterly on what kind of food that we have. The Ohio Union has an art collection, and you'll see spaces like this. You can see the televisions. There'll be eight tele that you know we can have sports stuff going all the time or any type of of show at that point. And those are the stones from the original fireplace at the Union and we saved them all so you kind of feel like home when you see that fireplace. That's all the original granite and everything that's there. We let students vote on their favorite sayings of Carmen, Ohio and they're sketched in a limestone the whole way down. The class gift was a big seal from the Ohio State and really the only time you see that seal is on a diploma. The light fixtures have black o's the whole way around it and even the bottom portion of it has a little black o leaf. Our bathrooms are, are very Buckeye. Everyone should have a Buckeye bathroom. This is actually 5,000 square feet and this is pretty much the size of one of our old ballrooms. This is our multicultural center and we decided really to make a statement that diversity counts. Um, Underground Railroad um, in Columbus went from the Olentangy River and it went through campus and it went up to the Kappa Sigma house. So the interesting part on this room, we actually built an architectural feature of this building and this is shaped like a lantern to represent the Underground Railroad and this will always be lit up. This is our information center and for students, you know, when you buy the Explore Columbus tickets. Um, we only have one line. This will be capable of having six lines. Um, this is the performance hall. Um, it's an 8,000 square foot and obviously with a huge stage. It has a ton of technology built in here. The neat thing about it, it's an indoor-outdoor space. Very far part of this is a Blocko fire pit. So once again, knowing how Ohio weather is, this is um, our conference theater. Um, it seats 300. We're entering into our $22 diner. Students really wanted um, breakfast all day, so they will get that here. This is the entrance to the Center for Leadership and Service, where all of our student organizations will be housed. Behind you is the Source, which is the student organization resource room, which is kind of um, a college student's kinkos. There will be 80 student organization offices that are be housed in here, um, so we have a lot of student organizations. And behind here are lockers, but we kind of did it as a lodge kind of feel. So there'll be a glass piece the whole way across, and it will be a faces of Ohio State students. This is the 18,000 square foot facility, and this is the second largest event space in the city of Columbus. This is um, the Ohio Staters uh, meeting room, and so once again, I, I think there's a beautiful light fixture here, and um, this is a really unique room because it's going to tell, it's going to be a museum to the history of student organizations. This is the Senate Chambers. Our student governments wanted something very similar um, that they would be experiencing like the State House. So you'll see up front there, they're kind of, up front is where the speaker would be and the people can sit. This is the um, Sphinx Centennial Room and um, this is the color of the Sphinx organization, so they wanted their carpet that way. But this has an outdoor balcony. Yeah, this is um, the Student Alumni Council room. Um, it seats 80. Okay, this is the Barbie Tool room. Oh, the alumni got together and named this for her. She was a business major, and at that time it would have been Haggerty Hall where she took her classes. And her first job on campus was in Haggerty Hall. We went in collaboration with the Cartoon Library, and this is featuring eight cartoonists from Ohio State. So this is kind of the Ohio State cartoonist room. So, and we're pretty excited. So third, we're a whole bunch of people. Once again, this is a 3,000 square foot meeting room. This is a, our round meeting room. And this is really a symbolism. We saw something similar to this at the University of Arizona, but it's kind of a, somewhat of a, key, a Native American kiva. That's the concept that we took from it. We saved a door from every building that's ever been a student union on our campus. So Enerson Hall, Palmarine, our former building, and this will be our current building, you'll be able to open them up and the history will be told behind the doors. This is the Interfaith Prayer and Reflection Room, and really anybody can use it. Um, it's going to be a study space in the union, and, so, um, and we were very intentional where we put it. It's obviously the top of the lantern, but it looks out over the law school. We have a lot of law students that use our building. And so once again, the union never really had a quiet space, so for commuters, this is more of the quiet space. And then on both sides here are dance rooms. And once again, we have a, a tremendous amount of student organizations that dance. 
This is our instructional kitchen, um, and you'll see that there's actually six stations and a demonstration kitchen up here. Um, so we'll be able to teach students when you move off campus how to cook off campus. So we're gonna, this kind of ends, but at this point I usually ask for feedback, like what you thought.